Right, we're here with Jim McFarland and Craig Edwards, uh, managers for Billericay Town and AFC Hornchurch. Undoubtedly the biggest game of this uh, bank holiday weekend. How did it go for you guys today? What do you think? Nil-nil was a justified outcome? Oh, I, said, oh, I don't think the game ever got going, to be fair. Um, yeah, I mean, we're both going to see it from different points of view because we're managers of the different sides. But I was disappointed with our performance. Um, it's probably as poor as we've played since Christmas, never got going, never passed it, and uh, yeah, and I was disappointed with our own performance. Yeah, I think uh, AFC Hornchers had to uh, defend for their lives today. Well, I wouldn't say defend for our lives, but we had to defend well. But then again, we've done that all year. So, what do you think overall of the game today, Craig? Well, I thought we should have won it. <laughs> you know, I mean, um, I thought that it was an even sort of scrappy first half, and I thought. Like particularly last half hour, I thought there was, you know, there was only the only side looking looking likely to win it. Um, you know, the keeper hasn't. I don't think he's had a save to make today. You know, but um, and it's, you know, we knew it was going to be a really tough game because the two two best teams in the division. You know, and um, yeah, so um, it's it's one of those. You know, I'm obviously I'm pleased that we it's still in our own hands, but perhaps a little bit disappointed that we we're not clear of them. You guys think that that would have been the outcome, or do you actually go out to win today? Obviously, oh, I think both of us went out to win. Um, a point, well, you know, it's not the end of the world for us, but it's not the result we wanted. And you know, and for Craig as well, you know, if he wins today, it sort of makes it an almost impossible task. But it keeps it a little bit close, so it's, you know, it ain't all over yet. I guess there's some big games coming coming up for Bill Billericay Town now, coming up to the end of the season. Yeah, I think big big games for for us and for Jimmy. You know, um, we know we've got three tough games, and and I'm sure they they think that as well. You know, and um, I think that the only only result that would have if we would have uh, really opened it up is obviously if we'd have won it today. I think if you know the draw keeps it as it is, if we'd have lost, there would have only been a point in it, and I still think it would have been all to play for. Um, but you know, it's it's a shame in a way it was the game was a little bit scrappy and. You know, because it, it was a big crowd here, and it probably is the biggest. Never mind about the biggest game of the weekend; it's the biggest game of the season. And you know, it probably probably wasn't the best of games, but you know, it's always likely to be that way when there's when there's so much riding on it. Do you think uh, it's just a two-horse race now? Yeah, I do. To be fair, um, with three games to go, um, I think it'd mean us losing two games each for lower stuff to get back in it. I um, mean, you know, I think it's great for for our area to have the both of us. You know, if anyone's going to win it, one of us is going to win it and one of us is going to come run us up, which then becomes a lottery of the playoffs, which we'd like to avoid and I'm sure Craig yeah, would as yeah. well. From the uh, history books, uh, I don't think uh, AFC Hornchurch have beaten Billericay at home. Is that correct? You're telling me something I don't know, so... Or me. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got a clue. I mean, I don't look into all that because at the end of the day, if we'd have lost the last 20 year, it don't mean nothing going into the day's game, you know, so... I'm not one for all those type of stats, you know, it's what you do on a day and, and uh, yeah, so we, we and I'm, I would like to say that I'm pleased, it's us, it's one of us two going to win it, you know, and without sort of completely writing low stop off, um, because I don't think anyone give it, any of us a chance at the start of the season and uh, we've, <coughs> we've proved, you know, what hard work can do and if we, uh, if we were to win it, I genuinely hope they come up in the playoffs because they're, they've been, they're always uh, good battles and good games between the two sides and I'm, I'm sure for the supporters as well you know they, they love it you know to be playing each other so that would be you know that would be the ideal scenario us to win it and then again the playoffs have two hard games and win it <laughs> it was a bit your, your, of a your ideal scenario <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it was a very rough and tumble game out there today obviously that's a signature of uh, Essex football why, why is Essex football on top oh, I think that's been a little bit detrimental to Essex football um, any derby is a tough, you know, tough game. Whether it's in Essex or anywhere in, you know, anywhere in the world, you know, the two local sides meet. Most of the players know one another, and the staff know one another. All the fans, you know. So I don't think it's, you know, I don't think Essex has got anything to do with it. Billericay and Hornchurch is a, it always has been and it always will be, a tough battle. But it's all done in the, in the right manner, I think. Yeah, I mean, if you had uh, two Premiership sides, be, be it Arsenal, Tottenham played three games to go with playing for the league, you'd probably get you'd get a scrappy 
battling game. That's and you know, and there would be a lot of tackles flying in. There'd be two committed sides, and that's what you get with derbies, like he says. And uh, but um, I think you know, both. I mean, you look at us, the goals we've scored, both the teams this year. Um, we people will look at our two centre halves and two centre forwards, and we called land a giant. So the way they don't look is the four midfield players who are all ball players, and none of them over four foot eight. You know, so it's a bit of both. You know, but. Um, that's, that's how you get labelled and I ain't going to break my heart about it because of where we are. Well, it's very good that you uh, both you guys are standing up in front of in front of us here having an interview. Obviously, you've got good com camaraderie between you. Obviously, you know it's... No only because none of us have got beat. You want to... It's nil-nil. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't have been like that, I promise you. If he'd have won or I'd have won. Yeah. Well, he's a terrible there's loser. A, there's a difference. I'm a good loser. He's a <laughs> good loser. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I think both of you are being quite... Uh, Gentlemen like to each other, I think. I'm going to get a drink off of their chairman, he's promised me, you know, which I wouldn't have got if we'd have won, because he never talks to me if I ever beat him. So, there you go. Right, we're here with Joe Anderson, who is the number three for AFC Hornchurch. I understand you've got the uh, supporters man match today. Overall, what do you think of the game today? Um, I'm a bit disappointed. I don't think we turned up for the first 45 minutes. So we've been playing all season. We tried to get the ball down and play, but um, in the second half, I think we come out more, create a bit more. But overall, I think draws draws about right for both teams. Overall, AFC had to um, defend for their lives. Did you see it that way? No, I don't, I don't see it that way. I just think they come here and try and play no football at all. They're just hooking things off. I think there's only one team trying to play football today, and yeah, they had a couple of chances and we made some good clearance off the line. But other than that, I don't think they played any football at all. Okay, why do you think you got met a supporters man match today? I think mean, there's a two clearances off the line that saved us, to be fair, but oh, I'm happy, I'm well pleased with it. Okay, well done. Right, we're here with Reese Knoll, who's the number two for AFC Hornchurch. Bit of a tough game out there today. Yeah, it was exactly what we expected it to be. We knew they were just going to come here and battle. Um, I think, if I'm honest, they probably might have deserved it today. Uh, first half was just a battle up. Second half, I think we played football a bit more, got into the game, but we didn't really create enough. Looked like hard work out there for the defenders. Yeah, it was <laughs> 45 minutes of graft um, in the second half. Uh, it's one of our toughest this season, I think. Um, I think draw might be a fair result. You guys looking strong for the obviously for the playoffs. Do you uh, think you guys can still pull off? Or? Well, uh, you never know, man. We were saying in there, they've still got to play three hard games as well. Um, if they go and draw one of their games and we win all three, you never know. Do you know what I mean? It could go all the way down to the wire. You never know, man. What do you think you could take out of this game to the next? Um, we just, oh, well, we can see that we can flip in, work hard. We grafted today, um, especially the back four, Joe and Gold, loads of talking, boys in the middle, even up front. Everyone just didn't stop working. Um, it just weren't our day. just weren't our day today. You were, you were working particularly hard out there. Did you think uh, your red, yellow card was warranted? Uh, yeah. yeah, of course it was. I knew what I was doing. Did you guys come up with a game plan today? Uh, we just knew we'd, we'd have to fight for it. Um, before we, basically we had to earn the right to play, for, play our, our football. Um, they did well, man. You can't take it away from them. They did well, they battled, and they got probably what they deserved out of the game. Right, we're here with Rob Swain, who is the uh, Billericay captain. Looks like a very, very difficult game out there. A lot of hard drafting, very physical game. Is that, is that the way you saw it? It was, mate, yeah. We've obviously, both teams are very big, big and powerful, so it was always going to be that way. It's probably going to be sort of one chance in it, which we had. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it was, yeah, very hard, very hard. And, Physical game. It's always a tough game. Essex, Essex boys are always playing really, really hard football. Is that uh, a label that you uh, think you oh, guys are warranted? Yeah, I mean they've got like little fellow up front, Lewis Smith. He's, he's awful, to be fair. You know, he dives a bat and he's terrible. So that's obviously <laughs> typical. Essex. Point of view. That's uh, <laughs> that's obviously typical Essex. But yeah, yeah, we get the reputation, but we live up to it. Do you think it's a, a point gained or two points lost? Uh, it's definitely a point game. Point gained against those two, definitely. Um, 
They're a good team, obviously they're second for a reason. Um, they beat us at our place earlier in the season. So it's definitely a point gained, you know. It's in our, in our hands now. They've got a t one tough game, which they'll probably lose because, you know, they've got Smithy up front. And um, we've got, yeah, it's in our hands. So we'll do, we'll do our best and I'm sure we'll go and win it. You look like one of those giants of uh, Bill Ricky. How tall are you? I'm six foot five. Right. Do you think uh, AFC worked the back the defence today well? They've got a quick back four. So they... They dealt with Courtney well. I think Jack J did, up, did well up front, winning all the headers. Um, but no, they've, they've got a good team. They've got a good back four. They've got the best defence currently in, in, the, in the league. So we didn't expect anything, anything less.